Hi guys, today just a little video really, really simple and it's a question that often gets asked, what oil do I put in my two stroke bike? Now, two stroke bikes need oil in here, okay, all different places on two strokes, um, the speed fight's under here, some bikes have um, air rocks under here, but generally you always find a little place. How to tell the difference? Well, I mean, generally 50ccs are quite easy, 125s and stuff like that. Um, the exhaust generally looks different, and they sound very different as well. Two strokes have a very higher pitch, noisy, annoying for some people. Yeah, and obviously four strokes often sound very much deeper. So when it comes to the oils, um, Halfords do a great one. They're in two different colours: that silver or burgundy. Slightly different money. Um, Castrol do some. Um, again, different ones. And they've all got this 2T now. So they've, they've classed themselves as 4T and 2T rather than 2-stroke and 4-stroke. means the same thing, though. But again, um, en motorcycle, engine oil, 2-stroke. There you go. It says 2-stroke on there. So it can be confusing because Halfords calls theirs 2-stroke. Castrol called theirs 4T, uh, 2T, should I say. And when it comes to Motul, this is the difference. See that 40? They do 40 and 2T. 40 is obviously and quite simply for four stroke bikes. And that's engine oil goes in the engine, little dipstick or a little viewing screen. It's not for burning. The biggest thing people do is put 40, I don't know what they're doing, into a two stroke bike and it was it will just knacker, it won't run, it will seize. It's a completely different job. It normally stalls and won't run actually, because it mix doesn't mix with the petrol. Now Easiest, I suppose, and I only use this for colour, is it's generally a red colour, okay? Engine oil is generally like a a, um, a beer colour, I suppose, if it makes sense. Um, don't use this stuff in your bike. I know it's two-stroke. This is very runny. Um, it's very smoky, and I've found that most bikes that I've had to do a piston head with is because of this stuff. It's cheap. Um, I think A1 Autos, they do a cheap one as well. And what it will do, it will allow your piston to heat up and score, okay? That is no oil or cheap oil. It's much, the consistency is much thinner. Here's another one, the same sort of thing. It, al it allows it to get hot, um, it's, it's weaker and thinner, um, and it will just knack your piston. So, you've got your selection, you know, Motul do do one as well. Texaco do a good one, that again got 2T. So... It's simple, isn't it? If it's got 2T on it and you've got a two-stroke bike, brilliant. If you're unsure, don't buy it. Um, and most other ones now have 4T, and that is, let's say, that, that beer-looking colour. Um, and that's for four-stroke engines only. So that's the best I can say. Texaco, Halfords. Halfords is a brilliant one, nice and easy. Um, Cash will do one. Um, but there's a there's this car lube. I just... You can... You can uh, if you want to use it, use it. I'm just saying it, all the bikes I've looked and been with, it's very much thinner, and I've often found that that's what's in the boot, and that's why the, the actual engine seized. Um, there are other makes out there, but they're the main ones I use. Whenever I have a bike, I often say to them, go to Halfords, it's about £9. There's, um, so to get the red one, there's a green and a black one as well. They are you know, fully synthetic, whatever you want to call them, um, and they're a lot more money, 15 quid. As does text, um, Tesco's. Nah. I mean, generally, if it's got a picture of a lawnmower on it or a vintage bike, you know that's what it's for. It's not for one of these little bikes. Some of these little bikes can do eight, ten thousand revs. Um, the other ones are for like four brake horsepower lawnmowers and stuff, or you know, one brake horsepower. So they, you know they're just going to fail, and you're going to end up having to put a new piston in, and that's quite simply why. So again, Halfords, Kestrel, Castrol, we want to call it, um, and Texaco, stick to them ones. The auto stuff you're paying four or five pounds for, or, or the Asda's crap, just stay away from. Your bike will last a lot longer using quality 2T or 2 stroke. So, nice and simple. Um, if you can't find the filler for it, you've got 4T four or 4 stroke, um, you know, go online maybe and try and find out. Don't put the wrong oil in the wrong bike. You put 2T in the engine oil, it, it just knacker it, and vice versa. The consistency the velocity is very, very different, um, and they've got their own jobs to do. So there you go, guys. Just thought I'd do a really quick, quick video on these. I mean, obviously, this is an NRG, and this is quite simple. It's, it's in here. So uh, nice and simple for these ones. Um, but there you go. Right, check out my videos. Take care of yourselves. And, um, 
yeah, watch some other ones. And again, see this lot here. I know it's in a can of bottles, I say. This, I don't know what it is. Um, I assumed it was 2T. Uh, the bike wouldn't run very well at all. I took this out and put some Halford stuff in there. Started, ran straight away. So sometimes it can, can be contaminated with a little bit of 4T. But I've got loads of oil um, that I end up going down the dump with and chucking away. Because I couldn't get it started. I start thinking it doesn't smell right either. It's got a funny smell to it sometimes. Um, but yeah, it can be black, deep black green colour. Generally, if you, you just stick to the red stuff. And normally, also, um, on a lot of them, they have a little gauge at the side to say, or well, these Kestrel ones do, how much you're using. But as long as it's got actual engine oil, um, it can be a bit confusing, can't it? Where it says engine oil and you think it's for the engine. But it's not. It's for two T's, which is perfect. Take care of yourself, check out my videos, tell our guys.